Teachers, what was the worst thing a substitute teacher did while you were gone? Back when I was a teacher. I had a sub decide my plans weren't good enough for her and went rogue. She decided to show my students videos of animals giving birth on YouTube. I taught English. Student here. TLDR. Sub demanded I turn over my heart monitor in front of the class. Junior year I was having major heart problems and had to wear a heart monitor 15 hours a day. It had a phone attached that when I had heart murmurs. It would send the data to my doctor. I was wearing it and started having heart issues. It buzzed and I went to click send when the sub demanded I turn over my cell phone. I started to explain why I couldn't and she snapped at me so I lifted my shirt to show the wires and sensors strapped to my chest. In front of the class of 50 students. Choir class. I've never seen anyone's face drop that fast in my life. I've had so many bad subs. One sub made an elementary student cry insisting her own name was misspelled and made her stand up in front of the class and admit her name was spelled wrong. I asked that she not return but I still saw her around as other teachers had her sub. Another one worth mentioning was supposed to be my sub for the last two weeks of school because I went on maternity leave. This time teaching at a 7th 12th grade school. Ignored all my sub plans. Played on his cell phone the whole time. And then like 3 days and got upset at the students and told them off. And then they watched as he walked out to the parking lot and drove away. Thank goodness some kids went and told the office. When I came back it was like my room had been ransacked. It was awful. Rearranged my room. Not in a move student A away from student B and put her by student C way. In a move the giant rug over to the opposite corner of the room. And completely change the layout of student desks. And rearrange a bookshelf way. Went to sleep for 1. 5 hours. My class was freaking Amazingus of sweetest. Most thoughtful group I've ever had. When I got back the next day. I asked how the sub was. Me. How was the sub? Them. Up. Uh, he was fine. He kinda took a nap for a while. Me. What? What did you guys do? Um. Worked quietly so that we wouldn't wake him up. Eventually we ran out of work. So we just had silent reading. Me. For how long? Them. From when we started working until it was time to go outside. Me. That's a really long time. Look. I am glad that you guys were so thoughtful. But if something like that ever happens again. Please wake the sub up. It's not safe for the sub to sleep. He needed to be awake in case something happened. Them. We would have woken him up if we really needed to. But we also figured he probably really needed the sleep. Seriously. The sweetest class ever. I had a cool Chinese lucky cat that went missing after I had a sub. My students said the sub seemed really intrigued by it. Talked about it several times. And even moved it from the shelf where it sat and brought it over to my desk. It was gone when I returned the next day. Left my perfectly prepped and neat desk an absolute disaster. Did not follow the lesson plan and. Took my gel pens. Not a teacher but I vividly remember one incident of having a substitute in kindergarten. I had an infected cut on my toe and had been prescribed an antibiotic. That morning was the first time I took it. We were sitting on the floor for roll call and I remember this burning pain in my abdomen. And she told us to get up and go to out desks. I tried to get up only to realize I couldn't move and just laid back. This sub was a total cow and I remember she was always really mean. Anyway she starts yelling at me for being attention seeking and basically tries to pull me up. I'm in so much pain I start screaming and one of the teachers from the classroom next to ours comes. Realizes I'm not faking it and calls an ambulance. Long story short I'm horribly allergic to penicillin and my kidneys were failing. I was in hospital for almost a week before I got discharged. Needless to say that absolute bitch was not allowed back at the school. There was a harpsichord in the front of the classroom used both for demonstration and performance. Not knowing what he was doing. The sub tried to tune three notes that had gone mildly out of tune while I was away. 
He managed to break the strings on all three notes and left a message inside reading. Sorry about that. Full stop. Full stop. I had a sub give out my cell phone number to my high school students so they could call me and give me excuses as to why they weren't taking their test while I was gone. I was livid. I complained to the sub office. And that teacher never subbed for my building again. This happened to my colleague. But I was the classroom next door. My colleague was showing Clash of the Titans at the end of the year after a unit on Ancient Greece. There is mild nudity at the beginning and the end of the movie. But they were in the middle of the movie so there shouldn't have been an issue. He left the video paused at the right spot, we still had VCRs like 10 years ago when this happened. But the sub somehow managed to show both the nudity at the beginning and the end of the movie. The nudity scenes were hours apart and the class was only 40 minutes. Then. The sub wrote an email to the principal about how my colleague made him show nudity. He peed in my desk chair. Swear. 2. Got. He apparently peed in my chair and the students noticed it and mentioned it to him. He ignored them and just sat there anyway with a huge puddle of urine on the floor. The kids called security on him. I came in the next day and sat in the chair. It was wet and about that time a security guard stuck her head in the door and said don't sit there. That guy peed in your chair. She let the kids run wild and do whatever they wanted, first graders. I was out because my dad died. Thank god my team realized what happened and all pulled together and cleaned the room put it back together before I returned to work. I came back after being gone one day and my students told me the substitute teacher flipped over tables in a rage and was escorted from the building by a cop. What actually happened is that the sub left the room to take a 20 minute phone call and the kids thought it would be funny to flip the tables over. The substitutes then had to flip the tables right side up while yelling at the kids. N. During lunch. My special ed. Co-teacher came into my room to set up and caught the sub making out with a student. Turns out she was 18 to his 25 and the 20 minute phone call was to set up the lunch meeting. The principal then had him escorted from the building by the resource officer. This is why I say having a sub is more work than just coming into school my damn self. Edit. Wrong version of principal. When I was a substitute. I got a lot of requested jobs because the substitute pool was poor. One such example given to me was a substitute who would just go to sleep. I barely believe it. Once I was teaching full time. I had a sub come in for a day. When I got back my students told me that he told them to leave him alone. Sat down. And went to sleep. I believed it then. Didn't do anything to the kids. I said. But told the kids that the reason I was out was because my mom was having breast cancer surgery. I teach K5 and I specifically didn't tell the kids because I didn't want them to worry. So. When I came back. I had a bunch of kids come up to me asking about my mom. Which was so sweet. But not something the kids should have had to worry about. I had left out overnight. Eggs that I was going to use in a science experiment the following day. I was out and thought nothing about it. I returned the following day and went looking for the eggs only to find them missing. Asked a student where they went and I was informed that the substitute took the class to the special education kitchen. Hard boiled them and ate them. I went to talk to my AP and was informed that the sub had called in sick for her job for that day. Due to food poisoning. My 9th grade English teacher was fired. Which is an entire other story. And the school had difficulty finding someone to fill the spot. We would have random subs. But they didn't really teach us. So eventually we had a different person babysit us each day or week. One time it was the very scary principal who just glared at us like we were convicts about to escape. The school's police officers who at least talked to us. And various teachers for one day stints. I don't know why one of our five librarians couldn't have been in there going through great appropriate books at the least. We spent 2-3 months like that. Gave out snacks I bought with my own money that I kept for kids who stayed after to get tutoring. Threw out a broken electric pencil sharpener that kids broke in front of her. Which again. 
I bought with my own money and couldn't get replaced by the company because I had no product to send back. I still don't have a sharpener for my room. Let the kids go through my things in my cabinets and desk. Lost a bunch of stuff that way. Hey 29 Mick 152. Amazon delivers all over the world. Where can I send you a pencil sharpener? Edit. Thank you all for your edit acts of kindness. You all cleaned out that teacher's wish list in an hour. How wonderful you are. I taught middle school math and English in the 90s and the sub didn't know how to convert a decimal into a fraction and kept insisting that the students who did know how to do it were wrong. She also apparently didn't know how to pronounce 5 of our 20 vocabulary words and didn't know what half of them meant. I was a teacher's assistant while in college. The teacher and I took a week long workshop and had a sub. The worst thing she did. Not letting the kids go potty. It was in kindergarten and she said all the kids going to bathroom were interrupting the class. One girl wet herself. School policy was if kids under a certain age had an accident the nurse would give them a pull up, basically a diaper, to wear. The substitute proceeded to make fun of the girl for wear a diaper. Calling her baby and such. The little girl ended facing repercussions at home too. It was devastating to hear about. I caught the flu the week my students had a district benchmark test. I could feel that I was coming down with something. So I stayed late to put together really in-depth review packets and slidishows. I wrote pages of directions for the substitute. And separated the reviews out by class numbers. I even included my personal number and told them to call me anytime if a student had a question they couldn't answer. I spent about 5 hours putting everything together after school. While battling around a 103 temp. The substitute completely ignored my instructions. She instead took every single piece of construction paper and cardstock in my classroom from my personal locker that I had left open for her in case she needed something. And had the students make flip books about their feelings. They use thousands of pieces of paper and craft supplies. Probably around $100 of my own personal supplies. This was for freshmen in high school. I'm still bitter. She was brought in to teach history. What did she teach? Geography. Like how? The worksheets I left were literally on Hitler's rise to power. Edit. I should have mentioned. She taught how earthquakes can cause tsunamis. Yes it was interesting but. You had one job and it wasn't that. Not a teacher. Of course. But when I was in 5th grade we had a sub show us the first Scream movie. I have no idea why or how that happened. But some people were not ready for that. Had a substitute teacher in my high school French class show a movie that was straight up soft copy pornography, but tried to explain that since it was in French it was artistic. It was equally frustrating because while I wanted to see boobs, I also couldn't stop reading the subtitles because I had to understand what they were saying. The teacher did not come back the next day. Update. I went through all the comments and looked at everyone who suggested what movie it might be and none of those movies were the one shown. This would have been in 2006 and the movie look maybe late 90s or early 2000s. If I come across it. I will update this thread but for all I know it could have been a PRNO in French. Lost more than half of my textbooks that I purchased myself. As well as textbooks that were school property. Administration just shrugged at this. Until they found out the textbooks belonging to the school were around $120 each. Also lost all the book assignments of 4 classes I asked him to collect so I could correct those at home. Kinda sucked for the students who did put a lot of work on it and didn't have digital copies. Also didn't teach anything that I asked him to. Because he didn't really like the subject matter. Also didn't bother grading. When I checked the grades he had given out. There was only one grade and everyone was given 8 stroke 10. Even students that didn't take my class. The sub passed out drunk at my desk. Kids wrecked the room. Kids stole all my stuff. The kids had the sense to take themselves to lunch and recess. So no one in the school realized anything was wrong until after the kids had left for the day. I would occasionally give out starbursts to my 4th graders. 
Bitch ate all the pink ones. He yelled at one of the only girls in my high school engineering class saying girls don't belong in engineering. He also kicked his feet up on the desk and read the paper the entire day. He banged a yardstick on a desk to get everyone's attention then pointed it at the whiteboards with the daily objectives. All without saying a word. He disappeared at lunch and came back smelling like weed. These are all reports I got from my students the next day. This guy was a retired teacher. 2. Not me but my sister. She was on maternity leave, 10 weeks, and the long term sub she had didn't grade any of the work that the students turned in. The other teachers she worked with said he would watch the Simpsons on his laptop while not teaching. So she comes back from leave and has 10 weeks worth of papers, tests, and assignments to grade. Her department chair banned him from subbing for their department ever again. Not a teacher but once we had a sub for German class in high school. Instead of following the lesson plan, she showed us a graphic documentary about the holocaust with part of it showing dead naked bodies being pushed by a bulldozer into a mass grave. At first, I just thought it was weird that our teacher didn't tell us about it beforehand but then just assumed that it was just part of the class where we learned about German history and had to see the horrors of the holocaust. I didn't find out until almost a week later that the sub completely ignored the lesson plan about grammar. I had to go out for surgery early 2019. I arranged for my predecessor, who I worked with for a long time in a different classroom, to take over for 6 weeks. I wrote meticulous lesson plans. With song lists and everything. And we had several meetings beforehand. First week. My daughter. I teach in a small district. I teach both of my kids, comes home and is singing I'm Baby Beluga in the shower. My sub's favorite song to teach. A song not anywhere on my list. Apparently my entire lesson was scrapped and she spent the whole class teaching this song. So the worst thing that a friend of mine did was to teach my kid a song she tortured me with for weeks. I found out later she didn't follow any of my lesson plans. Which is a pretty common thing no matter what one teaches. Yes. She is still my friend. No. I do not request her as a sub anymore. Not a teacher. Was a student. We had a quest. Our freshman geometry teacher's cute way of saying it was between the point value of a quiz and a test. The sub came in and saw the instructions and handed out the papers and instructed us to get started. Shortly after. He asked why no one was talking. He explained that it was a quiz test. We needed to work on it alone and talking would be cheating. He insisted that it was a quest. A collaborative venture to seek knowledge. We tried multiple times to get the point across until he made it clear that if we didn't group desks together and collaborate. We would be in trouble. We had to explain to our teacher what happened when she got back. She made us retake that. And I never saw him sub anything else in our district again. Not a teacher. But in elementary school I had a bloody nose during class and asked to use the restroom. She said no and refused to let me go to the restroom. I think she didn't believe me. I sat there until the blood had spilled all over the desk. Then raised my bloody hand to be excused and only then did she allow me to go clean myself up. She even had the audacity to ask me why I didn't ask to be excused earlier. Which was a complete lie. As she definitely heard me the first time and even the other students pointed out that my nose was bleeding. When the teacher returned she was livid about what happened. I believe she complained to the administration to make sure the sub was never hired again. Came back to my art room with paint on the walls. Chairs. And tabletops. None of my plans had been followed. My chocolate stash had clearly been eaten. Apparently she allowed the students to leave the room and wander the school. They were a class of 8th graders. I was furious. Not a teacher. But in the 4th grade. Our teacher had a baby and was gone for several weeks. The sub we had was an absolute witch. She had no patience for kids. She'd yell at us for stupid. Ask us questions and or give us homework that was way above our tiny 4th grade brain levels and then complain and call us stupid when literally none of the kids did well on the work. 
One girl decided to get smart with her one day and she walks over and slaps the girl. Hard across the face. Which of course sends the girl into a hysterical sobbing fit. And says that's what your other mother should be doing more often. Being tiny. Adorable 4th graders. We were all too afraid to tell anyone. We had to deal with that for 3 weeks until the main teacher came back. New parental fear acquired. Two things come to mind. 1. Tell the black children they need to speak more clearly because people think black people are hard to understand. 2. Just sit and play on the phone while class loses its mind. If my substitutes even showed up. They only occasionally followed the lesson plans I left. And I made sure to attach them to the online sign up and print leave them on my desk. It's like they looked at the lessons and said. Nah. I vaguely remember a substitute teacher calling me racist for being 25% Japanese. It was 6th grade music class. Basically he said what is the most racist country? And obviously no one answered. He said Japan. I said I'm 25% Japanese and he said exactly Lmeo. He was obviously fired. He wasn't a real substitute either if I recall correctly. Was a student. Our maths teacher went on leave for a while, I think maternity, and the supply teacher was absolutely useless. He'd been given one topic to teach us and that was it. For weeks. We had a whole textbook to be working through and I was gunning to take my maths GCSE a year early. But no. We just did a topic our class had got the hang of in a week. For two or three months. Because I guess he didn't know or bother to ask what we were supposed to be doing next. So the rest of the year we had to go ahead of the pace we were expecting to be able to cover everything we had to know. I'm supply teachers. I had a substitute when I worked in a rough school. I knew it was going to be a challenge for the substitute. So I prepared ahead of time with a lot of candy, from Costco, and notes to not leave their lunch in the fridge, it would have been stolen. The substitute gave out all of my 5 pound bag of candy and my calcium chews. When I came back from the field trip the kids were in a soft lockdown. Because the school was being searched for drugs. I immediately noticed my calcium chews, chocolate flavored, were gone. I assumed there would be some serious health repercussions. So I frantically searched for a warning label. It said something along the lines of excess consumption may cause to act as a laxative. One of my hungrier kids had eaten 15 plus chews. The nurse had to round up each of my classes and, with the sub, escort them to the bathroom. The kids never took candy from another substitute of mine. Ever again. Edit. We legit do not use subs at my school. There are teaching assistants from pre-k kindergarten who will cover in a pinch. But more often than that. We just divide the kids up amongst the other teachers. Because yes, it is easier to handle 6 or 7 extra kids for a day than to pick up the pieces after a sub has blown through town. I'm not a teacher. But our substitute teacher gave us a task to write a story about any theme we liked. 4th grade age 10-11. At the moment I was hooked on everything space related. The planets. The moon landing act. Too young to even remotely understand any of that. But this didn't hinder me to write a story about Apollo 11. I put my back into it and talked my father into typing it on the computer. Since I would have taken 3 days for that one page. Filled with pride I gave the story to the substitute teacher and I got it handed back with a line across the paper. Stating that I didn't wrote that. No questions or anything just a you didn't do this. I know that any form of trying to convince her failed. Albeit. That no adult person would write even remotely amateurish like I did. Not a teacher but I had a sub in third grade make all of us go outside for recess when the wind chill was minus 30. The coldest I remember as a kid. Policy was no outside recess if the wind chill was less than zero. She stayed inside to watch us from the window. We all. Every single one of us. Instinctively huddled in a circle to stay warm. Fortunately I came down with the flu and was spared the rest of her abuses that she subjected the rest of the class to. She wasn't ever allowed to sub at our school again. 
I am not a teacher. But we had one really bizarre substitute teacher many years ago. She brought in a portable toilet and her cat. So she could show us how her cat could use a toilet. Why? No one has been able to answer this. In later years I learned that this sub is schizophrenic and should never have been allowed around children. She used to bring us food. That she got out of dumpsters behind restaurants. We never ate it and the principal finally stopped using her as a sub.